Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Now, I'm looking at this, and what I didn't know was that there's some kind of interview with the vampire that's being worked on. And I had no idea that anything like this was even happening. So this is news to me. So the title of this article reads, Interview with the Vampire cast Bailey Bass as Claudia. Oh, shit. So that must be Bailey Bass. Okay. <laughs> Just being real. The AMC interview with the Vampire series has cast Bailey Bass in the role of Claudia, the young orphan girl turned vampire played by Kirsten Dunst in the 1984 movie. In the books, Lewis feeds on Claudia while thinking she is dead. Lestat saves Claudia and turns her into a vampire. The book describes Claudia as being very petite in size and delicate shaped with long golden ringlets for hair and porcelain white skin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what's going on here. <laughs> but as we all know, there's got to be something up with everything nowadays. So this is where, uh, yeah, I guess this is where the cat's out the bag now, right? Jacob Anderson, known for playing Grey Worm in Game of Thrones, is playing Lewis, who in the books and movie is a slave owner. So obviously it seems as if the AMC TV series is going in a completely different direction. Ah, uh, so he's a slave owner. So might as well get a real like a black slave, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. OK, uh, Sam Reed is playing Lestat. Bailey Bass confirmed the casting on her Instagram, who will also be starring in the upcoming Avatar sequels. Okay. Pinch me beyond excited to play Claudia and join the interview with the vampire family, she posted. Okay. Oh, this is coming from Deadline. That's, that's, that's cool. Oh, that's her, huh? Like I said, beautiful chick. All right. Yeah, you look overly excited, yeah. Soy face. <laughs> All right. So, this is the original uh, cast for Interview with a Vampire, 1994. So, very good. AMC acquired Interview with the Vampire rights. The Interview with the Vampire series doesn't get a release date as of yet. Roland Jones, known for Weeds, The Exorcist, and Perry Mason is the creator writer and showrunner who executive produces along with Mark Johnson and Rice and Christopher Rice. Okay, Game of Thrones and Many Saints of Newark director Alan Taylor would direct the first two episodes and is also an executive producer. Well, what can you say to that? AMC announced back in June it had acquired the rights to Anne Rice's library of Interview with the Vampire and Mayfair Witches novels. Good for them. And that is it. So what do you think about <laughs> the interview with a vampire with Lewis being a slave owner, actually having a black slave? I don't I guess that's just the I don't know. I guess that's the Hollywood way to show that a slave is a slave. Right. You got to throw a black person in there and kind of make it a. <laughs> what a BLM moment for Victorian times. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to do with this, or what to say about this. I don't know. Uh, you know, I've, you know, it's, it's fucked up because what it is, it's just actually nowadays. Things can't be created the way they should or they needed to. You know, they'll they'll take a time period as these Victorian days and act like a black person's been there the whole time. So with that being the case, what do you say to that? Hollywood's woke. Interview with the vampire just went woke. And as us being the people that they're trying to sell this to, we got to shovel this shit right back to them and tell them they can stick it where the sun doesn't shine. 
But that's my thoughts. That's how I feel about it. You guys let me know what you think about this shit in the comment section below. Are you happy with Bailey Bass being cast for the interview with the Vampire series? Do you care? Do you not care? Please let me know what you think about this shit in the comment section below. Share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.